tighten up on one end and you have to, because it's on cinder or and what you open it up, pull the leather through, pull it tight, put the bead through, through one, and then open the leather up, or open the bead up, pull the leather through, pull the bead tight so the bead goes through, through the line. And then continuously open the leather up, pull the bead through, pull the bead tight, and continue all the way across, turn it, come all the way back. It'll be like a little X on the one side, you'll see, on some of these. And that's how, you, when you look at the original way we made belts, you can see that same thing on the end. excited to have the, you know, the, the replica here in the collection and it will definitely be a centerpiece of the, the new exhibit as we put it together. We're in the planning process of all that now. But then um, having things like this, in this, like this in, the, in the museum and in the collection and in exhibits also opens up an opportunity for dialogue about issues like this and um, <coughs> you know, things that have happened in the past with collecting native objects and um, you know, the repatriation process and why we do and do not display certain things. So, it's great to have this as a, as a teaching tool as well as a, a, an actual object in the collection. I would like to quickly recognize three of our board members who help us make, a, make the decision to do the repatriation. We have Ellen Delistrudo, Paul Lattimore, and um, Sheriff Gould, David Gould here with us. So if anyone has questions for them too later, they, they are here. Is it relatively an exact replica of what you...
Street. 